I'm Carson Kahn, co-founder and chief product officer here at Spindle. We're the world's most capable AI agent for business analytics and scenario planning. Let's explore how the agent helps anyone at a Fortune 500 SaaS company, say, Cyberdyne Inc., intelligently predict the latest key drivers of, say, churn, cross-sells, and upsells, optimizing their sales capacity and customer success capacity automatically. Now, in the past, a question of that difficulty meant a flock of data scientists like me writing complex machine learning notebooks like this one for weeks at a time, emailing analysts the outputs to hard code into an Excel model that then no one outside finance understands. Instead, we'll ask Spindle's AI agent to automate the machine learning for us, help interpret and trust the results, and then complete next quarter's hiring plan with the latest key drivers automatically. Here's the beginning of that hiring plan and forecast. We're already calculating from the bottom up how many CSMs this business unit needs to hire or transfer each month using Spindle's self-updating formulas. But we haven't refreshed the plan with the latest key drivers of expansions, contractions, and cross-sells. To do that, let's begin with the sales analytics data I've imported from Salesforce and Snowflake already. Let's see here. I have about uh, 5 million rows of data across countless um, dimensions in my data source, but I want to refresh it with the latest, so let's do that. Very good. And we can materialize this in our canvas. And now we're good to go. Spindle has generated a pivot table for me with some starting metrics like churn rate, uh, utilization rate, uh, average number of integrations per customer across our top regions for all of the months where we have historical um, data. Um, but before we dive in, I think I want to add one more metric with the help of the agent. Uh, let's say I want to calculate um, price per seat as well. If I just tell the agent that we want to use this formula everywhere in the simulation, it will analyze our data and other formulas to write it for me automatically. That looks pretty good to me. So let's accept the change and get right to it. We'll start with our natural language interface to analyze this cut of the data. Say run a churn propensity analysis using um, machine learning. What are the key drivers of churn? and what targets should we set for this line of business. The agent will now explore all of the formulas and data in my model uh, and propose a series of machine learning models to run in parallel to accomplish this task automatically. No data science expertise required. Um, while it's doing that, again, I'll just mention that, you know, this is the world we're coming from, arcane uh, Python notebooks and Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so it's already finished, in fact. Um, and it looks like it tested um, seven different kinds of machine learning models that moderately agree that price per seat is the primary driver of churn rate in our case. Now, I'm a little skeptical about that because the performance of the best model in this case was somewhat limited at about 61%, um, but it's still helpful to know that price per seat was by far the most influential factor here, um, followed by region. Um, and in fact, our agent has also recommended some targets for us. Um, it's recommended a $60 as price per seat, uh, we have about 13 and a half thousand customers um, uh, away from that threshold. Uh, an average integrations number, we should push for seven internally. Um, we have about 10,000 customers to go until that number and so on. And then provided some helpful automated visualizations to help me interpret the results of this analysis as well in case I'm not a data scientist. Now we'll di dive into this a little bit more deeply momentarily, um, but first let's let the agent um, thread those targets through into the rest of our model, specifically our hiring scenarios. So I will simply adopt the targets like this. The agent figures out how to update the formulas and data in my model automatically, and we should see that scenario appear up here in the scenario landscape momentarily. There we go. Um, so th the, this is the latest CSM hiring scenario month by month um, compared to the old baselines I had in there um, by adopting uh, these targets that were recommended from this machine learning analysis. No manual work needed. But I want to revisit this analysis with a bit more detail because uh, the performance of the best machine learning model was limited here. Um, so to do that, let's add some more dimensions to our data. Um, let's say uh, maybe segment is a good one to add. Um, enterprise, mid-market, SMB, that kind of thing. Whoops. Get these out of the way here. Okay, so we added segment. And then we could add, let's say, uh, is this a multi-product customer? Have they subscribed to multiple of our products or just one of our products? We could add that as well. Um, and then just to make this a little bit easier to see, 
um, let's go ahead and um, pivot this table. Okay, great. So we've probably doubled or tripled um, the resolution of the data we're analyzing uh, now by adding these new dimensions, which is which is great. Um, so we'll run our um, our churn propensity analysis again on this new um, cut of the data. So let's say um, run a new churn analysis with ML, including new uh, target rex. Okay. Um, Oops, I've uh, selected the wrong cut of data, actually. My bad. Uh, we want to do the entire um, cut of data. Okay, um, actually use this new cut of data instead. Okay. Here we go. Um, so it's proposed uh, some machine learning models. Again, no data science expertise needed. This is all agentic guided auto ML here. This one will take a little bit longer because there's a much higher volume of data. So give us just a moment here. Here we go, our report is ready. Um, and yeah, much better performance in this case. Now we're at 94.3% performance on this churn prediction uh, task. Um, and at this level of resolution, it turns out that the number of integrations per customer is actually um, one of the key drivers of, of churn. Um, that's also visualized here. Um, so let's see what target is recommended. Um, we should actually be driving for nine uh, integrations per customer. And we have about 14,000 customers short of that. Um, if we can get them all to nine, then we will dramatically improve our, our retention in this business, which is super helpful to know. Um, in this case, the agent has also generated a variety of richer visualizations um, to help me understand, for instance, how different is the share of churn events in different buckets of being a multi-product customer or not? Um, or how does churn differ by region? Again, to help me understand this analysis in the case where I'm not a data scientist. In fact, I could even ask follow-up questions like, um, compare our two analyses, um, wh what were the primary differences and recommendations? Um, so in this case, the agent will um, revisit everything it learned from both of those automated machine learning runs, as well as the data in our simulation, to provide a summary of those differences, as well as an updated set of recommendations by comparing the two. Um, I find this stuff helpful even when I do understand how the machine learning works. So um, as before, let's go ahead and generate a new scenario by adopting the recommended targets. And we should see our hiring plan update here one last time. And there we go. Um, so we can see that um, previously we would have hired 22 new CSMs uh, in the seventh month versus 28. Um, 21 versus 27 and, and so on. Um, so it's very helpful to have this information for planning purposes um, and make sure we hit our targets. Of course, we can also explore this scenario landscape more fully using Spindle's uh, multi-valued uh, assumptions uh, like this. And um, if we want to narrow, narrow the scenario landscape further like that, as well as help our team understand why we did that, we can automatically create a report based on the machine learning runs we did to help our team understand um, our analysis as well. As soon as I'm ready to share that, as well as this latest cut of the forecast with my team, no problem. Here it is shared. Thank you so much for taking the time to preview uh, our AI agent's latest capabilities. To my knowledge, we are the first company in the world to offer automated machine learning guided by an agent that's easy enough for anyone to use and understand. I think this will be transformative, not just for problems like churn propensity modeling or upsell or forecasting, but also for complex problems like pricing and packaging that defy the abilities of any one contributor on the team, perfect use case for having an agent. We look forward to seeing how you put it to good use, and thank you so much for learning more about Spindle AI.